I'm Steve Ellis Brigham. Uh, this is a little clip about the Lion Vision 98. Uh, we're going to chat through it today with Mark, who also works for me. So, first thing we want to do is just hear some of the tech details from the guys at Lion. Right here, we have the brand new Lion Vision 98. The Vision 98 is that perfect hybrid free tour ski. It's 1500 grams without a binding on it, so nice and nice lightweight if you want to go uphill. Get yourself a, a hybrid binding like a Salomon Shift or a Duke PT on there. Couple it with a skin and it'll work for you great. If you like a light ski in general, you can go on piece and off piece with ease. It's very, very dampened thanks to Lion's THC construction. It's not just a pot reference, that means triple hybrid construction, fiberglass wrap on the core, carbon stringers all the way through, and then a Kevlar weave over the top of the ski to keep the, a nice dampened feel. So it's not very noisy and tinny feeling like a lot of other touring skis on the market. This would really suit the advanced skier looking to go uphill or downhill. Someone that wants a playful all-mountain ski that isn't just stiff and light at the same time. Our testers' feedback has always been great on these skis because they don't feel like a traditional touring ski. They're easy enough to get around on for any ability of skier, but you know you can have a lot of fun all the way down the mountain. So you've had a bit of a rundown on this ski. Uh, one of the things I should say is it was a, a new ski last year and it won a lot of awards. We didn't carry it in our range last year, but it definitely sprung to our attention um, just because of the amount of different category awards it was winning, both as a backcountry ski and a free ride ski. Um, we weren't disappointed. So in terms of testing, how did it feel to you, Mark? Um, well, to me, it felt similar to kind of one of my older favourite skis which is a Salomon MT and Explore and the things that I really liked about that was it was lightweight but it still had a decent kind of top end performance it had a, a super forgiving flex um, but loads of edge grip which meant I could ski it at slow speeds and almost kind of pop and jump out of turns um, and that, it made it like really fun and that is Kind of how I feel about this ski as well, except it's got a twin tip on it, so it makes it a little bit more versatile and maybe a little bit more kind of surfy in softer snow. So, uh, is it free ride ski or a backcountry ski? Either, really. You just got to choose which binding you want to put on it. Yeah, and for me, I think that's the thing. Um, it's probably just hits the nail on what I want from a ski. It's going to be quite light. Um, it's got that surfy feel, it'll still grip, it's got decent construction to it, it's got some interesting tech, car carbon, aramid, um, 98 waist, it's going to basically go everywhere uh, and it feels good pretty much whatever the snow. Yeah, if you're a real blaster, you probably want a stiffer ski, but for something that crosses the boundaries, this is, uh, yeah, this is really interesting and definitely worth a look, whichever, whether you're a backcountry skier, whether you're a freeride skier. So if you've skied it, let us know what you think in the comments or if you've got any questions, pop something down there and we'll come back to you. Thanks for watching.